guys, welcome back to another one. If you are new to the channel, I am Gold Pony. I do new car truck SUV reviews on YouTube. And today, we are in the new 2022 Subaru Legacy, courtesy of Apple Subaru in York, PA. For more information on their inventory, please feel free to check out the link in the description box below. And so I wanted to check this one out today because there's actually several nice upgrades for the 2022 Legacy. And of course, I'll go over them for you guys. Best all-wheel drive system in existence as well, and that has been proven time after time. Great resale value, of course, really with any Subaru at this point. And so in this video, I will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking, steering wheel, ride quality, sound system, exhaust clip, and so on. So having said all of that, what do you guys say? Let's just go ahead and jump right into it. And as always, let's start with pricing. And so as you can imagine, there are several different trim levels for the 2022 Legacy. First one being the base, starting at $22,995 premium for $25,245, Sport for $28,790, Limited for $29,945, Limited XT for $34,495, and lastly, the Touring XT, which actually is the one we have today, starting at $36,195. And so, as you can imagine, probably from the trim levels there, there are are two different engine configurations one of them belonging to the non xt trims and the other belonging to the xt trim levels and so that first engine configuration is a 2.5 liter direct injected four cylinder boxer engine putting out 182 horsepower at 5800 rpm 176 pound feet of torque coming in at 4400 rpm power sent to all four wheels through subaru's legendary symmetrical all-wheel drive system and that power sent to the ground through a linear tronic cvt zero to 60 time for that engine configuration approximately 8.1 seconds with MPG numbers coming in at 27 in the city 35 on the highway taking regular unleaded fuel but so then there is the other engine configuration being the one we have today belonging to the XT trim levels this one is a 2.4 liter turbocharged four-cylinder boxer engine putting out 260 horsepower at 5600 rpm 277 pound-feet of torque coming in at 2000 rpm power sent to all wheels through a CVT yet again zero to 60 time for this one approximately 6.1 seconds with MPG numbers coming in at 24 in the city 32 on the highway taking regular unleaded fuel and so now that we've got all of that out of the way you guys what do you say let's go ahead and put this thing to the test I want to test out the paddle shifters here first by the way we do have paddle shifters but it is a CVT so essentially it is simulated shifting but you can still have a decent amount of fun with this so let's go ahead and give that a shot I'm going to push the shifter all the way to the back and to the left that is going to display what gear I am in up on the digital portion of the gauges and let's just see how quickly these paddle shifters are going to react for us here all right in three two one not bad yeah they're actually quite quick kind of surprised me but again it is a cvt so it's all simulated shifting but if you wanted to have some fun with it it kind of does feel a lot like an automatic when you use the paddle shifters in that manual shift mode i will say that but Kind of nice. Having said that, now let's go ahead and give back full control to the Legacy. I'm just going to slide the shifter back there to the right. And let's now go ahead and find yet another straightaway. And let's see how quickly the Legacy having full control here can get us up to speed. All right, you guys, in three, two, one, go. Oh, I got to love all wheel drive. It is gripping. That is plenty quick. Gosh darn, that is plenty quick. Definitely not gonna have any issues merging onto the highway. Best thing about that is with the competition, a lot of times that power is just gonna be sent to the front wheels and you're just gonna get spinning. You're not gonna go anywhere. That's not safe, but with the Subaru symmetrical all-wheel drive system, again, the best all-wheel drive system in existence that immediately sends power to all four wheels. You're gonna have absolutely no issues with getting that power to the ground, resulting in a very nice acceleration like the one we just had there. But Anyways, to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important. And so up front, you will find 12.4 inch ventilated front discs. In the back, 11.8 inch solid rear discs. As far as that 60 to zero stopping distance goes, that is going to come in at 127 feet, which I don't know, it's pretty much on par for the course. As far as the braking feel goes, it's maybe a little bit on the softer side, but it is perfectly fine. You're definitely not gonna have any issues with that. Then touching on suspension and handling, up front, you're gonna get an independent McPherson strut front suspension in the back double wishbone type rear suspension front and rear stabilizer bars as far as ride quality goes it's one of the first thing i noticed i'm going to intentionally hit this manhole here it just soaks everything up so nicely literally this is one of the smoothest rides for its class i will say that i've tested quite a while so 
very smooth ride quality when it comes to the Subaru Legacy, without a doubt. As far as steering feel goes, it tends to lean a little bit on the looser side, which I'm not the biggest fan of, but it's not horrible. I've certainly felt looser steering feels in this. Wouldn't have minded though if it had a little bit more heavy of a steering feel to it. So I will say that, but as far as cabin noise goes, that is brilliant. I'm not getting a whole lot of exterior wind noise whatsoever coming into the cabin. There's a slight bit of road noise, but even that is not bad at all. So as far as cabin noise goes, it's absolutely brilliant on the Legacy. And touching on visibility, I can see perfectly fine out the back. And really with just about any sedan, you're not going to have any issues there. But that about rounds out the performance segment of this review, you guys. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2022 Subaru Legacy. All right, you guys. So here she is, the new 2022 Subaru Legacy finished in crystal white pearl. In case anybody was curious of that exterior color name that we have here. Let's go ahead and start up front. Let me start with one of my most favorite parts here. LED steering responsive headlights coming standard across the board. What that is essentially is when you're going around a bend at night, those headlights are going to swivel based on the direction of your steering angle. Better help illuminating what is around that bend. So that is a wonderful safety feature and it's going to give you a heck of a lot better illumination at night as well. Automatic feature, of course, coming standard as well, meaning when it starts to get dark at night, those headlights are going to turn on automatically for you there. LED daytime running lights also coming standard. Then if you were to go with the sport trim level, and up you will get led fog lights down below you guys could see that in the bottom portion of the front bumper there and it's going to be optional on the premium as well but sport trim level and up is how you're going to get that otherwise silver accenting surrounding the fog lights then coming with the limited trim level and up otherwise it's going to be gloss black accents but pretty much rounds out the front end of this one let's now go ahead and make our way to the side of the legacy it's up and now making our way to the side here silver window surrounds do come standard across the board black folding side mirrors are going to come with the base body colored side mirrors with integrated turn signals coming with the premium and limited trims then then if you were to go with the sport you're going to get a crystal black finish to those side mirrors and then with the touring satin chrome finish so therefore that is what you guys are looking at right now but definitely a unique look to it and i will say also you're going to get those chrome accents found on the door handles for the touring trim level that we have here as well but then take a look down at the wheel setup 17 by 7.5 inch aluminum alloys coming with the base and premium and then 18 by 7.5 inch aluminum alloys essentially coming with all other trim levels of the legacy but that about rounds out the side let's now go ahead and make our way to the back and so but now since we are around to the back of the legacy here body colored shark fin antenna found all the way to the top there just below that led taillights coming standard across the board i absolutely love that now, when it comes to the exhaust outlets, it is going to differ amongst the trim level. So it will be a single exhaust outlet if you were to go with one of those non-XT trim levels. However, if you were to go with the XT trims that we have today, you will find dual stainless steel exhaust outlets. So having said that, I do believe you guys know what we have to do next. As always, here is that exhaust clip. So but now since we are around back of the Legacy, when it comes to opening that rear trunk, there are a few different ways to go ahead and do that. There is a button on the key fob itself that is one way. There is also a button on the trunk itself, of course, and there is a button by the driver's side left knee. So yeah, a few different ways to go ahead and open it. But once opened up, cargo capacity comes in at 15.1 cubic feet. If that was not enough space, there are some levers located within the trunk that can fold those rear seats down. There is a 60-40 split, bumping that up quite substantially then. Also, to my surprise, there's actually grocery bag hooks found in the trunk of the Legacy. That's a feature you typically find on SUVs, but hardly ever find them on sedans. So I did want to emphasize that. That was pretty cool. And there is also a little bit of cargo lighting back there, of course, as well. But then making our way to the rear legroom, that is going to come in at 39.5 inches. So for reference, I'm an even six feet tall. This is how much space I had in the rear seats there. Rear center armrest with cup holders does come standard as well. Rear ventilation. And here's one of the new things for 2022 rear ventilation now comes standard on the premium trim level end up and again that's new for the premium trim level for the 2022 model year so if you were thinking of that 2022 is definitely the way to go if you're thinking of the premium trim level for
for that reason alone. Dual rear USB charging ports coming with the premium trim level and up as well. And if you were to go with the limited trim level and up, you're actually going to get heated rear seats as well, which is super cool, especially when it snows out here in Pennsylvania. So that's definitely a pretty cool feature there. But anyways, let's now go ahead and make our way up to the front seats. Manually adjustable cloth seats coming with the base, power adjustable front seats coming with the premium trim, sport cloth with red contrast stitching coming with the sport trim level, of course, leather seating coming with the limited Napa leather coming with the touring that we have here today. If you wanted heated front seats, go with the premium trim level and up. And then if you wanted ventilated front seats, go with the touring that we have today. But overall, I will say, especially with the lumbar adjustments in this Legacy, seating was plenty comfortable. Absolutely no issues whatsoever when it comes to seat comfort. So definitely had no issues myself here. But then let's go ahead and take a look at the steering wheel. It is tilt and telescoping. It is leather wrapped across the board and then heated if you were to go with one of the XT trim levels, that's how you're gonna go ahead and get that. But now, let's go ahead and make our way to the startup. Let me start by showing you guys the key. All of your buttons are gonna be located on one side of the key. Lock, unlock, the button to pop the rear hatch, and the unlock button is going to be the Subaru logo, by the way. But essentially, it is all keyless entry with a push button start if you were to go with the sport trim level and up and that feature is going to be optional then on the premium so therefore all i'm going to do here is simply put my foot on the brake and press that engine start button located just by the driver's right knee there and so once started up gauges are going to do a full sweep tachometer is all the way to your left speedometer is on your right and there is a decent amount of information through that center digital gauge cluster as well things like your average miles per gallon at any given time how many miles you have left until you hit empty there's a digital speed readout as well and of course your trip a trip a so pretty much everything you could possibly need up on the digital portion of those gauges there but then making our way to overall interior quality there is a power moonroof coming with the sport and xt trim and optional on some of the others but that sport trim that gets the power moonroof that is going to be new for the 2022 legacy yet again previously the sport trim did not get a power moonroof for 2021 but it does now for 2022 so let me emphasize that overhead sunglass holder does come standard across the board auto dimming rear view mirror with home link controls coming with the sport trim level and up and that's going to be for up to three different garage doors located on the bottom portion of that rear view mirror which also has a compass by the way which is pretty cool overall as far as interior quality goes it is amazing here in our touring trim level that we have today literally no detail went unnoticed let me emphasize this when you take a look at the doors a lot of times you're going to get some cheap plastic but with this particular legacy you have soft napa leather with stitching even around the door handles a lot of manufacturers will leave that a cheap plastic but in the legacy you have gloss black accents which i personally love just above the passenger side glove box you have a little bit of storage rubberized storage i should say so things don't slide around surrounded by gloss black accents there as well i love that surrounding the shifter you have more gloss black accents and just behind that soft touch material with some stitching yet again and by the way just in front of the shifter you have two usb charging ports auxiliary port and electromechanical parking brake just behind that two of the most widest cup holders i have ever seen so that is quite interesting and within the center armrest there's a decent amount of storage with a 12 volt power outlet and actually a cd player within that as well which you never see these days that was kind of interesting but overall like i said interior quality is 100 percent on point without a doubt you can't argue the interior quality is wonderful here especially on the touring trim level of our legacy that we have today but let's now go ahead and get to one of the best parts being the tech so Dual 7-inch color touchscreen display is coming with the base. And I believe that's what the previous Legacies all had. But now, for the premium trim level and up, there is a much better 11.6-inch color touchscreen display. And that is a vertical screen as well. So that is pretty cool in my opinion. But I will say, either way, you still get Bluetooth and audio streaming. You still get Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. So if you have a smartphone, you just hook it up to the Legacy via USB cable. And you have free navigation displayed on either screen up there. Factory navigation system is going to come with the XT trim levels you don't really need it as long as you have a smartphone though can of course check out your car information up there there's your climate control settings found on the bottom portion of that screen there's also your radio information found on the top portion of that screen and by the way when it comes to the sound systems on the legacy you will find four speakers with the bass six speakers with the premium and sport and then a 12 speaker Harman Kardon sound system with the limited trim level and up and by the way that one comes with 576 watts and that one is the one we have today. So what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and turn on the radio, see what we got playing today, and let's test out the clarity of this one. 
<laughs> Definitely more than enough of a sound system for the Legacy without a doubt. Bass was fine, clarity was 100% on point. That is a very nice sound system for the Legacy. But, last thing I wanted to mention to you guys on that infotainment screen is when you do put this one in reverse, you will find a rear view camera with dynamic grid lines coming standard across the board, letting you know who or what is behind you, which is always is going to lead us into safety. And so to start, IIHS Top Safety Pick Plus, which pretty much says it all right there. Front side, side curtain airbags do come standard. Driver's knee airbag up front as well. In the back, you're gonna have latch, AKA lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats, rear child door locks, tire pressure monitoring system, but also standard for all trim levels, Subaru EyeSight. That's pretty cool because that includes adaptive cruise control, pre-collision braking, lane departure and sway warning, lane keep assist and high beam assist then as well. And then if you were to go with the sport trim level enough, you're gonna get some additional stuff like blind spot monitoring system with rear cross traffic alert. Also reverse automatic braking then as well. And so overall, when it comes to my final thoughts, brilliant safety when it comes to almost every Subaru these days. I just got done with the Outlander. That had IIHS top safety pick plus, just like the Legacy does here. So does not get any better than that, literally. Also, the best all-wheel drive system in existence. That's been proven time and time again. So it's definitely got that going for it as well. Excellent tech. I love this 11.6 inch screen. I would definitely recommend going with the premium trim level at least just to get that screen alone. Adaptive front LED lighting. You almost never get adaptive lighting these days unless you go with a luxury manufacturer. And even when you do that, sometimes even upper trim levels of luxury manufacturers. So adaptive front lighting on every trim level here of the Legacy is brilliant. As far as room for improvement goes, I would definitely not mind seeing a full digital gauge cluster on this thing. We have the very top trim level. I would expect at this point, maybe a 12 inch digital gauge cluster, which can be completely adjustable, maybe changes the colors, changes the gauge loadout, just so the driver can really make it their own. So I definitely would not mind seeing that. And also as far as styling goes, it kind of blends in with the rest of everything. Not that that's a bad thing. It really just depends on what you're looking for. So overall though, it's pretty much perfect in all the areas that you want it to to be perfect and more or less. But anyways, let me know what you guys think of the new legacy in the comments section below. That is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on TikTok if you wanted to see short clips of these vehicles before they actually get to YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews. That is what we do here on this channel after all. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold.